Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 55 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in this strange, futuristic looking town, and hopefully we can find out where exactly we are and how close we are to God. You came looking for God? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, you're much help, and I did not mean to talk to you a second time, because you would just say the exact same thing. Which you exactly did. Alright, have I already been in here? You want to rest? Go ahead. Um, how nice of you. You charge 200 zennies, no way. I'm gonna keep my 3.3 .3 million zennies, thank you very much. You know, at, at this time that I'm recording this, the uh, other episodes where I've gotten this much money have not been up yet. So I don't know if the reaction to it has been tepid or very vitriolic. I'd imagine pretty tepid. Like, I don't think people are going to make that much of a big deal over this. Uh, is it safe to be here? These don't look hostile. We just use the machines here to load scrap onto the ship. Don't know anything more than that. Okay, and they say the same thing. Looks like a machine soldier. I certainly wouldn't want to cross them because I don't think the game will be able to handle that many sprites at once. In battle. Yeah, let's see what you got. Oh, I forgot to put my uh, coupons on because, you know, even though I am uh, rich as hell, I would like to keep it that way. Where's the coupons to? Alright. We'll stick with that for now, just in case. Yeah, a little bit like some weapons. If it's any good. Heat shuttle, piercing edge, barrel rod, which I think is for Nina, but let's face it, we got the Ouroboros, so we don't need it. Gale javelins aren't that good. Raptor claws, let's put Peko in the party for later. AP shells, the sage's frock. Spike gauntlets. Wait a minute, we already got spike gauntlets. Did I not put any on Ray? I probably did not equip him with those. Yeah, I already have one of those. Yeah. Alright. Let's go back and take a look at the other wares. Lacquer armor. Okay, that's new. So, I'll buy, like... Four? So I probably don't see everybody needing them, but just in case we'll buy six. Okay, it's gonna lower agility, don't get me wrong. Well, not so much for guards, already at zero. <laughs> there, extra defense will go a long way. A lacquer shield... Well, the Divine Helm, we, what we got, is gonna be better than the lacquer helm. So let's get a couple shields ready. So our power is going to go down, but that's okay. We're already still pretty strong, all things considered, so I don't really think it's going to make that much of a difference. Also, we might as well just take a look at our healing items. Do we need to top up anything? Probably on healing herbs for sure. Vitamins, good too. And you know what? We're pretty much fine. Take a few more carols just in case. Tops, hangers, hangers and mash. <laughs> did I already talk to you? Yeah, I did. All right. You're not from around here, are you? I think I already talked to you too. This is where we get our machine scrap. Where does it come from? I don't know. Probably that conveyor belt over there. That's for starters. We call this town Combinet. I hear there's nothing but scrap and desert around us. That doesn't sound very pleasing. I think we should break camp. Or make camp. Oh, the people over on this side. They're like zombies or something. No spunk in them at all. They're like machines! I thought Momo would feel right at home. 
doesn't this just beat all? Who knows what'll happen next, huh? Scared? Ooh, ooh, me? Ha! I'm here because I want to be. I could have just stayed on the other side, you know. I was happy just being a highwayman, yeah? Okay, so maybe I'm a little nervous. I wonder if time is standing perfectly still, but no, the fire's going. Who would ever think we'd go off somewhere no one has gone before? Looking for... for God! Sheesh! And what's up with this brood stuff, anyway? The extinct brood! The God of the Urkans! We're searching for an answer to a mystery that could change the world. If I'd stayed in Windia, I would never have experienced any of this. But I bet everyone back home in the castle, especially my mother, they must all be worried about me. But being here is better than just being a princess, isn't it? Maybe. I'm just being selfish. What's most important for you is what you want for yourself. She's not wrong there. Think about how amazing it is that we may be able to figure out where all the machines we use come from. Hmm. I wonder what my dad would say if he were here. Every engineer dreams about solving the mystery of the machines. And I'm going to do my best to see that it's me who finally solves the puzzle. You know, I could just look on the bottom and it would likely say made in China. We don't have much to go on. But I'm sure that the power Deus gave us will show us the way again. Tomorrow's another big day, eh, Bonga? Alright, so I wonder what the world map around here looks like. Well, at least the music is no different. Okay, look, it does look like a desert, but we can go to the fairy village. We haven't really been there in a long time. And I see some kind of grove, too, to the north. Let's see if it's all developed by now. Made a new room, awesome. So with that, I mean, that's pretty much everything. Everything's all in place. So we don't need to build or clear ground anymore. Okay, so... Let's uh, move everything around. Well, we'll do that later, but first I'm gonna take a look at the items. Nah, we're good. I know, it's up to me. Let's see what we can buy here that's any different. Okay, well that's still pretty bad. I replaced the uh, handyman stuff with standard items. Ooh, multivitamins! I could definitely use a lot of this. Green apples, obviously I don't want. Like, I did change Jill's wear some time ago because, well, we got everything we need from her. Yeah, she's still got a way to go too. Alright. I still don't want that gift yet, so I'm going to wait it out a bit longer. Let's see what you got for us. I guess I can buy a few more holy mantles. You know, just so we're not always having one. 
We don't need any soul gems. We bought plenty of those. And for that, let's see. Lion's belt? We'll take a couple more of those. Alright, now we're good. So we can probably make some changes, take out the ones that are clearing, because they don't need to do that anymore. They don't need to build, because we already got all the rooms. So, I think we should set up a copy shop. Uh, let's see... Nah, that's not any good. I guess we can go with you, I suppose. Probably you. Press that up a music shop too if we really wanted to. What the copy shop does is it takes one of your items and it can duplicate it. It's really good for like rare items. I think you need like a like all the way up to sky blue to make it better. Because, you know, the lower the skill, the more likely it's just gonna give you, I don't know, something terrible. Why don't we go over here first? This looks like a girl for any dress seal tree. Wait a minute. What's this? Ah, the trans gene. Awesome. I say we're pretty close to getting all the genes. That'll be cool. I think there's like 18 in the game. How many do I have right now? I mean, I gotta be pretty much at around 15 at this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh yeah, it was exactly 15. I was just earmarking it there. Lucky guess, if I say so myself. Okay, Steel Grave. That, that looks like some kind of junkyard. There's a fishing spot over here, too. Okay, no hidden areas over here, apparently. If I can go over here, that's also nothing. I would imagine some very good fish are going to be right there. But I'll deal with that later. For now, why don't we go change our party and see what the other guys need. Put Peko in there, put Momo in there, alright. He thinks that should be good. Now all we have to do is just go back to the uh, weapon shop and see what they could use. Can Peko get like a new weapon here? Like the Raptor Claws? They could be new. Yep, they are. Oh, this will be much better for ya. AP shells. Alright. Awesome. Wait a minute. The homing bombs. Sage's frock. There, that's better. And... Oh, that's right. The lacquer shield. I forgot to put that on Pego. Oh, wait, the homing bombs. Were they better than this? To hit percentage up, but the attack power is worse. Alright. Now I don't feel so bad. Alright, you couldn't even put that on anyway. Alright. So let me do that again, this time for Nina. Does she need a Sage's Frock? Let's find out. Sounds very tedious. I gotta just buy a second Sage's Frock and just did it that way. But meh. Would be nice to give everybody a little bit of air time. They earned it. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I already did buy a Sage's Frog. Maybe I just bought more than one. Did I do that? Oops, I'm on the wrong person. No, I did not do that. Alright. This is going to be the last thing I do, and then we're going to head out to check out the Steel Grave. Or maybe I can just get in, like, one of those open fields. See what kind of enemies you can get here. Oh yeah, this is much better for Nina. 
Oh yeah, that's a straight up upgrade. Alright, why don't we actually let Nina and Momo be my party for a little while when we can check out the Steel Grave. Oh! Before I do that, let's take off the coupons. Because they're not going to help us here. Yeah, keeping the Holy Mantle on would be a good idea. Minimize the encounter rate. Oh! It went away! I think that's very annoying about some some of these sequences is that you have to press X at like the right time. Otherwise it can be gone. Alright, let's see if we can find that satchel like right close to us. Cause that would be nice. It feels so weird to have the layout of the map so differently, or these types of areas so differently. Up oh, here's some new enemies we got right off the bat. Tankbot and Thrasher. This can make things pretty interesting. Let's start things off with Lightning. I feel like that'd be the reliable choice. I don't think a Quake would be any good. Because it looks like they both float. I noticed the Thrashers kind of look like they got the head of a chicken. Wait, did Momo attack twice? I feel like she attacked twice. Can Thrashers attack themselves? Is that what it is? Nah, I'm probably just thinking out of my ass. That's pretty gross. Yeah, the trees are all barren. There's hardly any plant life here. Oh, here it is. It was just a vitamin. Alright, I think this party's pretty good to go. So, let's check out the Steel Grave. It's basically a junkyard. Let's try going left first. Hopefully we don't regret it. Oh, here's a new enemy. Well, two new enemies. Multibot and Assassin. Now, I believe that the Assassin can actually teach us a skill, like Disembowel. Which apparently can do zero damage. Maybe. Oh, but if it hits, that's like one HP they're going to be left with. Shit, son, that's very powerful. Thunderclap? Personally, I would not want any kind of clap. Especially of the thunder variety. Okay, good, that was still very powerful. But Momo needs to heal. So, let's get right on it. There we go. Uh, now we can go like two different places. Which one do we go? Let's try going up here first. Up in this treasure. UV glasses! Okay, what does that do? Apparently it's not... Uh, over there. Oh, there it is. Protect versus blindness. Uh, I'd rather like protection against death. If you don't mind. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be any good on Nina because she mostly uses the magic anyway. Could be good for Momo. Because she doesn't use magic all that much. So we'll give you the UV glasses. Now you look styling. And profiling. Kiss dealing, wheeling dealing, jet riding, jet flying, limousine riding, earthquaking, ass shaking, son of a gun, I don't know. You kinda lost me. Oh, here's a new enemy, it's an Audrey. Feed me, Seymour! Feed me! Maybe we'll find the second Audrey. You never know. 
Okay, well that still does decent damage. Even though I still find that very offensive the way what she says. Momo got the level 26! That's anything but offensive. Uh, Nina will need some healing. I do realize she's not that durable. Momo, what the hell are you doing? Are you trying to go up the ramp and failing miserably? <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. It's like she's rubbing up against the ramp and she's gonna get all staticky. We got speed boots, that's good for agility. Not much else, though. But that's all it needs to be good for. What is this place? It feels like just one big maze. That's all it is. It's a maze full of junk. I guess all we have to do is just get to the northeast and we're good to go. Whoa! Five thrashers! Too many thrashers. <laughs> And you pretty much know where the rest of this is gonna go. Let's try a lava burst. That was decent! Apparently, they don't have a lot of HP. Now they have none! Okay, that went really well. Are we out already? That seems like a joke. And luckily we don't have to go through it ever again. Unless we want to. There's a colony that looks very similar to like Urkantapa in terms of layout. Also, there's another place right over there that we might want to check out eventually. But in the next episode, I say we go check out the colony. See everybody, thanks for watching.